Reynolds and Kathy Maines are well known to this program, having hosted a special missions emphasis on Monday for many years, and of course heading up the work at uh, Crossroads Relief and Development. Since that time, they've launched World Embrace, leaving Canada for Africa in January of 2015, with a focus to see nations transform through unity. They join me today, guys. It's a great to see you again. Thank great. you. Oh, Good to be with you. It, it, we flip sides. The last time I think we were together, you were interviewing me a, a few That's years ago. That's going back. That's going back a few years. Now before. Before we talk about the exciting work in northern Uganda, Reynold, uh, the passing of your father back in September, how you doing? Well, we as a family, uh, we're confident and we've been assured by God's word where dad is. Mm -hmm. And one thing I said at the funeral is that dad's not gone, he's just gone ahead. And I also said that I'm going to spend more time with my dad in the future than I have in the past. And we believe that. We hang on to that as believers. And so we miss dad terribly, of course. We think about him often. In fact, I wear his ring. Yeah. Uh, he wore this ring for 59 years. And uh, it reminds me of dad's faithfulness to mother, his faithfulness to God. It reminds me of eternity. And uh, it's just a wonderful treasure that I wear now on my right hand. Kathy, David was a spiritual father to many of us, but you know, of course a dad to Reynolds and his siblings, and, and also for you too, he was a pretty special guy. It was amazing to live behind the scenes all the time. You know, everybody is familiar with David in front of the camera, but what you see is what you get. And he truly lived out a life of love. And I, I'll never forget that National Post headline when he passed and they said, a full page, David Maines, a hero of love. And so. I thought, wow, what a legacy, but they nailed it right on the head. And so happy new year, everybody. Mm -hmm. And this, this year, I've entitled this year as live simply, love extravagantly, just following in the footsteps of this amazing father in love, David Maines. And he was a man that set a legacy for many of us. I mean, even for me sitting in this chair and for you guys and for Uganda, that was something, mm -hmm. Reynold, that was big in his heart. It really was. Uh, Dad's father, Roy Lake Maines, was a missionary for many, many years in Egypt, mm -hmm. in Africa, North Africa. And uh, Dad, of course, always had a heart for missions, mm -hmm. for crises around the world, uh, like the Ethiopian famine. I remember in the early 80s, and I went over as a camera guy to capture the <laughs> images as well with Dad, traveled with Dad, and, and Dad, though he never went and lived on the foreign field. He always had a huge heart mm -hmm. for God's work, not just here in Canada, mm -hmm. but around the world. So you, you got to your grandfather, your father, you, uh, your kids, and now little Ruby, your grandchild. Kathy, some parents might be going, what are you doing? You're taking your grandchild to Africa. I, okay, I got to tell everybody, I had nothing to do with it. It was all God, seriously, okay. because that is a real huge step for someone to take a baby. I don't know, quite frankly, if I would have done that. But it was a total God calling, and of course, we are, it's a gift from God to us. We can't wait. Well, you got an amazing family. Uh, so let's get into the work, Reynold. Uh, World Embrace, how did it start? What was the passion? What was driving it? Well, really, it goes back to here in the Crossroads 100 Huntley mm. Street studio. Yeah. Back in 2001, mm. Kathy and I did an interview with a guest that really turned the table on us because we had just come back from a Samaritan's Purse uh, trip in 2000 to Mexico and our hearts were stirred. First time experience with short term missions. It impacted us greatly and that never left us. It was, we realized this is our sweet spot. So in 2001 we made it known and when he turned the table he challenged us to pray a prayer with our children mm -hmm. during family devotions. Get around a globe. Put your children to put their hands on the globe. You put your hands around your children and on your children so we're and, and, this globe. and pray a simple little prayer that Bob Pierce, the founder of World Vision used to pray. Mm -hmm. Father May the things that break your heart break mine. Father, may the things that break your heart break mine. And we would pray that at family devotions. And what, what God impressed upon us and really moved as, as the father heart of God, what broke the heart of God was the division and the hatred, the, the words amongst his family, his children, the denominations that really were at odds with one another. Letting these non-essentials to salvation divide the church when in Christ Jesus, Scripture says, the cross of Jesus Christ has made us one. Yeah, we need to live yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. And we know, according to Scripture, if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you yeah. will be saved. Okay, before we go to the break, 
Where is Gulu, Uganda? Because okay. I want to, because you're, you're hugging this big globe. Yeah. So, so give me a, tell a me where it is. big jump 17 years later. Here we are. We're living in Gulu, Uganda. Have a look at this. And you can see right here, uh, we're in East Africa. There's Uganda. We're in the north of Uganda, Gulu. And we're surrounded by South Sudan, Congo, Tanzania, Rwanda, Kenya. So we are there. Some of the things we're doing uh, right now, presently, you can see in the next photo here, basketball ministry. I mean, my dad, David Maines, was reached through sports yes. ministry back in the day. So we're involved greatly in the different sports, and we're just really uh, believing that God's getting us outside of our facilities and in the community. These are broken boreholes. We're launching into repairing the broken boreholes of our community. There's 26 of them as well. We uh, are involved in many different things. Kathy, here's the hospital ministry. So we have the opportunity with a team from seven or eight different churches, upwards of 20 or 30 Ugandans coming with us into the hospital and ministering. The Peche War Memorial Stadium, most important building in northern Uganda. It needed renovating. Reynolds, yeah. We got involved in it big time, and the East African Games happened in Gulu uh, this past summer, and it was exciting. And it just put us in a very special position in town as known as a as a, as a ministry that are greatly involved in the community. Here's Kathy sharing in one of the congregations. We get in the churches often. We work with different Christ-centered churches. Right. As long as they believe Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father but by Jesus, we're involved with them. Mm -hmm. This is the children's jail here. We're involved with that as well, renovating it, uh, and the church is coming together, joining arms with the local churches, <laughs> ministering there in the children's jail. And tell us about the, the kind of children that are in the jail, Kathy. Uh, ages 12 to 17, uh, anywhere from rape, murder, to just stealing a chicken yeah. or falsely accused. And they can stay up there for up to a year or more at a time waiting just for their case to be heard. And so this was just an incredible, practical yeah. way to and, reach into the uh, community. We've hired a couple of teachers now. They're educating the children. So it's wonderful to be involved in the community. What's important to our civil servants, our leaders, mm -hmm. we're saying how can we serve the community as the body of Christ together, the church is rolling up our sleeves together, whether it's cleaning the streets, we've done that with a number of churches representing and just, just going for it. So that's presently what we're involved in, but we're excited to share uh, shortly about what we're doing in the future. And we will do that when we come back yes. on 100 Huntley Street.